Hey guys, Profe Pablo here, Spanish teacher turned Minecraft engineer. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build an underwater base. And originally this base was for hunting drown, uh, and it still works mainly for that, but there's also some other really cool stuff you can add to this. Let's not waste any more time, here we go. So this first part I'm going to do in survival to show you how to make it happen. So you're going to want dirt or sand or something that you can dig up easily and you will want some sort of light, whether that be a block light, that's my suggestion, like a shroom light or glowstone, or you can use a torch. The first thing you want to do is choose a spot and you want this spot to be where you see drowns. Um, but you also want it to be kind of shallow so you can get back to the surface pretty quickly. Now you can do one of these deeper, but you might want to have respiration on a helmet or something. So this first part is the trickiest part. Let me switch over to survival so you can see how tricky it is, but also see how to get it done. So I'm in survival. I'm going to swim down to the bottom. You want to make a nine by nine square. Okay, as you saw, I have to come back up to the surface often. There's also drowns after me, so that makes it challenging. Okay, I just switched back over to creative mode because as you can see, I'm dealing with the drown with the trident, which makes it very difficult to get anything done. So um, let me go ahead. Uh, so a nine by nine, remember, is 81 blocks. So you're definitely gonna need more than one stack of dirt. Uh, and you want to make this thing two things high at least. Okay, once you have your main platform done, you swim down. This part's tricky, so I switched over to the survival to show you can not be done. Find any part in the middle and start digging. Now, it definitely helps to have a shovel. I'm gonna to have to go back up for air and give it one more go. And you're going to have to dig three blocks down. Okay, once you're three blocks down, take your light, put it on top of you, and then you're actually good to go because now you're in a hole in the ground that doesn't have any water in it. So now you can start digging away and kind of clearing out your base. And eventually you will reach the edge, water will come in, and I'm going to show you how to block that off. So uh, for this top part where the ceiling is, you'll want to place a trap door and water will not get in anymore. Start clearing out the middle of your base all the way to the edge. Every time you hit an edge, place another trap door. You'll want to dig the blocks out from under the trap doors as well. If you ever run into a block that was never converted into a normal block and still waterlogged, just take a block, cover it up, and then break it again. Once you've finished putting trap doors all the way around the edges, it's time to use some buttons. So the reason we're using buttons is they can help contain water as well and it'll give us a way to get in and out easily. Break all the blocks around the buttons. Okay, um, I'm actually gonna add a little more lighting in here, so I'm gonna add some lights to the ceiling. Now, as you can see, you can get out and then swim back in pretty easily. The cool thing about this design is that in survival, you can get out, hunt some drowns or do whatever else you need to do, and then swim back here and swim into here to catch some breath. And guess what? The drowns can't get you. Now, if they have a trident, they can hit you, but you could just close this so they can't hit you with it. But this is making me feel slightly claustrophobic. Let's go ahead and make this thing even cooler.
Okay, it looks like our survival base underwater is ready. I'm just going to show you guys a couple of things. Uh, as you can see, I added a crop farm down here so I can have plants and food. Um, here I added, uh, this is to make bone meal if I wanna make these crops grow more and I can get that easily by growing kelp. I have a couple chests, all the workstations I need, uh, a couple furnaces because I'm gonna be fishing. I do have a fishing pole and you can fish down here. As you can see. Now, there are a couple of suggestions I have. One is you definitely want a quick escape route. If there's a drown after you with a trident, he can throw it through the water. So you need a place to escape really quickly. So that's a good spot. Uh, down here I have my bed. I have another chest. I can put whatever I want. Then I have a ladder back up to the top. So let's go out and hunt some drowns. One more side note, as I was hunting drowns just a second ago, I did die um, here uh, because I didn't have enough space to get in. So make sure that you have enough blocks uh, cleared out of the way so that you can get into your home. Also, I've noticed that I cannot jump up from the chest to get out. Uh, I set those chests there so I could get out easily. The only place I can get out well is where there's solid blocks like this, but the chest, I guess, are just too low and I can't get out easily. I hope that you guys enjoyed this build. Uh, please let me know any changes that you would make in the comments below. Uh, and please, again, note that you can, no drowns can get in here, but the drowns with tridents can throw in. So make sure you have a place where you can run to to escape from them. Thanks for watching.